you will come out of Ramadan stronger because you will have more Quran in your heart. I am telling you guys, brothers, sisters, everybody that's listening here, you have to memorize Quran in Ramadan. You, if you've been lazy, stop it. Get started. I don't care if you do two ayat. I don't care if you do two pages. Set your goals high. Aim high. Aim high. Say, I'm going to memorize a whole juz this month. I'm going to memorize 20 pages. I'm going to memorize 10 pages. I'm going to finish the entire, you know, juz amma or something. Aim high, even if you don't finish. But put yourself in that position. When somebody tries to memorize the Quran, you're, you know, you go to Fajr at the masjid and you decide you're going to stay back a couple of hours and you're just going to sit there or maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes and you're just going to memorize Quran. I can tell you that is one of the most sincere acts of ibadah you will ever do in your life. Because you're not memorizing Quran to show off to anybody else. When you memorize Quran, the only one who will know is who? You. Unless you have the problem, you go over, hey, by the way, by the way, I know Surah Al-Ghashiyah. So, you know, <laughs> if you have that problem, then see me later. <laughs> Other than that, if you're memorizing Quran, who is it for? Yourself. And you're spending so much time on every ayah. And every time you repeat it, the angels are writing it down. Because when you memorize, don't you have to repeat yourself? Every time you repeat yourself, the angels are writing it down. Every time, every time, every time, every time. It's not one time for you, it's ten times for you. Twenty times for you per ayah. The, 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 the barakat of the Qur'an are entering into your life. This is what we have to do when it comes to Ramadan.